Hello and welcome to my Insta page review where I'm going to be going over the landing page builder and kind of give you a demo tutorial to show you exactly how it works, what you can expect from this in terms of features, and of course talk about the price and if it's going to be worth using as your landing page builder. So when you're going to create a new landing page, you can use the standard landing page, the AMP landing page, which is great if you want something that's lightning fast in terms of being compliant with Google AMP and of course uploading Insta page file. Let's go with the standard landing page. And from here, you're going to see plenty of tutorials, excuse me, templates to choose from. Now, something you'll notice is that a lot of them are very similar. You know, that can be either a pro or con, really depending on what you're looking for. I like the simplicity of them just from what I've noticed doing any type of landing pages that simplest is usually the best. In fact, what I'm gonna be doing is using this one. Uh, so let's select this, but actually let me scroll down a little bit more. You can see what they have to offer. Now there are going to be some filters on the left side if you wanna choose something specific specifically that's going to match up towards what you want. But just for this example, I'm gonna click on this one and let's click select. And for here, I'm just gonna do high converting. Give me a sec and I'm gonna move on over to the editor. All right, so here we are with the drag and drop editor. Very smooth, pretty simple to use. I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So on the left side, we have all of the, the big things that we can drag in there. Instablocks is great. It's a way of adding an entire section to a landing page. So instead of doing one thing at a time, you add the whole section, makes your life a little bit easier. I really like that. Headlines, we have the paragraphs, forms, buttons, images, videos, boxes, circles, vertical lines, horizontal lines, the timers, and of course, HTML, if you wanna get into that. So with that being said, it's pretty simple to use. You see a section you want to use, you can keep it, you can delete it, you can edit it. Anytime you want to, you know, edit something, you double click it. But for just simplicity's sake, what I'm going to do is delete a lot of these blocks here. So this is one big block. I'm going to delete that. And we have our next block, which we can see right here. Once again, I'm going to delete this too. We're going to be doing a lot of deleting here. Okay, this one also. The reason I'm doing this is because I love simple landing pages. You don't really need a lot, especially if you're gonna be doing lead generation, for example. Uh, let's just delete this, red. I can delete this, I can keep this actually. If you really want to uh, increase your conversions, what I've noticed, anytime I'm doing like a free lead magnet, the less you have on your page, the better. So what I've seen is if you have, if you let the visitor know what they're gonna be getting, you have a main headline, and then you can have a little bit more, which will be right here. Notice how that green line is there. That helps you center it. Like I said, you can truly move this wherever you want. You're not going to want to put it outside the box, but it's nice that you have the freedom to be able to do that. And if I move it around, we should get that center line. There we are. Actually, that would be getting too crazy now. I think right about there is fine. Anyway, okay. Then we have the bottom block. What I can also do is we don't need that bottom section. So I can move that there, I can click here, and then I can delete. I know I'm doing a lot of deleting, but just to show you this example, let's say we have a free PDF download. So if someone comes on this page, we're looking to give away a free lead magnet, they're gonna know exactly what they're gonna be getting. So in that, it's going to say like, how to get 75% opt-in rates on your landing page, something like that. Then we can do enter your best email down below to get instant access. Okay, email would go there. Of course, we can edit this if we want. There's gonna be some button styles, the form styles, submission, and of course, multi-step. There is going to be an integration section, which I have open right here for you. Aside from publishing and marketing tags and pixels, there's also a spot for like a Facebook pixel, you know, and things like that. That's on a different page. But uh, aside from that, in terms of autoresponders, we have autopilot, convert kit, Active Campaign, Aweber, Campaign Monitor, Constant Contact, Egoi. I never know how to pronounce that, E-G-O-I. Anyway, get response, go to Webinar, Mad Mimi, MailChimp, Zoho, HubSpot, a bunch more. They also have Zapier, which is good because that usually allows you to connect a lot of different types of tools. So even if they don't have it here, you can work your magic that way, okay? Moving back over here, 
This is gonna be an example of what we'd want it to look like. One, because it's extremely simple and they know exactly what they're gonna be getting. They know exactly what they need to do. I've seen a lot of times on Facebook where it'll say like, how do I get this lead magnet? It's like, click the picture, you know what I mean? So even though you're a marketer, you have to understand that not everyone is always going to know exactly what they need to do. In this example, we're telling them exactly what they're gonna be getting, which is a free PDF download. We're giving them the big benefit, which is kind of like the headline, how to get 75% opt-in rates on your landing page. Uh, enter your best email down below to get instant access. They enter that, of course, the call to action we can change around. Uh, button style, let's do this, uh, get, instant access. Perfect. Nope. And I move that around. There we go. Perfect. So that's that. Another great thing about them is the fact that you can check out the mobile optimization. So if we click on mobile, this move down, that's fine. And just like that, obviously change around the copyright. This is a little scrunched together, but that's good. That's why we have the mobile optimization aspect. So we can keep moving this up. It looks much better. Another great tip when you are doing your landing pages, notice how when someone arrives on this, like everything is going to be on their phone. That is perfect. The same thing if it wasn't mobile optimized, what you wanna do is when they arrive on that landing page, make sure that everything is above the fold. What I mean by that is that they don't have to scroll down. It's gonna make their life so much easier. Everything is right in front of them and that allows you to increase your conversions because you're not gonna be losing any people on, well, what do I do next? So I got to scroll down here and so on and so forth. So despite the fact it looks very simple, I've had landing pages like this do better than 75%. That was on cold Facebook traffic. Of course, you're going to need to get your targeting down, but something to keep in mind. Moving back to desktop, looks great. And that's just an example of putting together a landing page. Like I said, this looks like nothing completely you know, flashy or crazy like that, but I'm telling you, some of the best and simplest landing pages are going to do the best for you. They also have the ability to do A-B split testing, which is very simple to do. Obviously, you'd wanna make another similar landing page, and when you do that, I recommend just changing around the headline. If you change too many variables, then you're not gonna really know what made the biggest difference. Usually, when it comes to simple landing pages, the headline is going to be the biggest deal. Like if I said, how to increase your opt-in rates on your landing pages. It's like, well, that's good. I want that, but it's not juicy enough. But if you have a case study about how you consistently got 75% opt-in rates, people are going to want that. You see what I mean? Okay. So that's kind of the landing page tutorial slash demo. I know not a lot was going on there, but let me show you the Insta blocks. This is something I really like. Like I said, it's a bunch of sections or columns, whatever it's going to be in each scenario. So instead of adding all these things separately, you can just click on them and add them. For example, this one right here, we have a lot of blocks. Let's click it right here. And just like that, it goes down there. Your life's going to be much easier that way because obviously you can go in, you can double click this, you can edit the text, add in your own pictures, delete some, and so on and so forth. But since we're just using the simple landing page, I'm going to delete that and we can go back to square one. Let's talk a little bit about the pricing and what they have in terms of Instapage. Now, Instapage starts at $299, but keep in mind, they actually have a very unique discount. I will put a link down below, which I'll also talk about after this, but I want to just let you know what they usually have in mind in terms of getting started. They also do have a free trial, which is great. So you get unlimited domains, you get no conversion limits. This is really good. This is something that, like they said, their competition is going to be different. Some other landing page builders that I've reviewed do have a specific amount of conversions that you get, which can be a pretty big deal if you're generating a ton of conversions, but with Instapage, you're not gonna have like that squeeze on your conversions. You can just get as many leads and sales as you want. Okay, you got your customer success manager, design reviews, and of course the A-B testing. Custom is going to be different. I don't currently have the pricing because it's gonna be based upon your unique needs. Obviously, you get a few more upgrades in terms of the, um, the features and perks like global blocks, workspace scripts, the add to page personalization, heat maps, which are cool, and of course, custom fonts. Now, here's the great thing that I talked about in a previous video. Not too long ago, Instapage came out with this, and they now have a newer and lower monthly pricing, which is very, very big discount if you ask me. So normally it's $299 to get started. Let's go to the monthly. So now you're looking at $89 if you want to use the startup plan for Instapage, which is pretty good pricing. It says everything you need to start building and optimizing post-click landing pages for higher conversions. So you get no conversion limits. Once again, landing page builder, real-time visual collaboration, their Thor render engine, Instablocks, but keep in 
in mind that you're limited to only 1000 traffic. So that's going to be monthly. You don't get a ton, but this is a great spot to get started. If you feel like you're not getting 1000 monthly visitors, then this is certainly a place you'd want to start out. Of course, they have these sign up access right here. So if you want to check this out, you can simply click the link down below. You get taken to this page and this is a great place to get going. You can obviously always upgrade later if you want, should you want to use it after that 14 day free trial. So all in all, Instapage is looking much better. I love the fact that over the years I've taken a look at them. Their landing page builder is still very smooth, very easy to use. It's drag and drop friendly. It's mostly about what you see on the page. What do you want it there? We'll simply add it in. Do you want to delete something? Delete it. The ability to mobile optimize them is great, which is standard nowadays, but it is very easy to do as well. Just simply click on the mobile tab, make sure everything is good to go, is all aligned, and then you know it's as simple as that. All in all, Instapage is a great landing page builder, simple to use, smooth like butter, and the fact that they now have a deeply discounted startup plan, which is only $89 a month, is going to be a big deal for a lot of people, especially for the fact that they used to start at $299 per month. So if you're interested in Instapage, definitely give them a shot. I think you'll love their simplicity of the landing page builder and their new deeply discounted price with the startup plan. Thank you so much for watching. The link is down below if you want to get taken to this special page that allows you to get a very big discount. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you soon.